I want to say hi to you folding knife folks. Uh, oftentimes you probably came in and saw some great videos that uh, I knocked out. Unfortunately, this is probably not going to be one of them. I don't have any uh, much going on with all this uh, BS going around the country to all the knife shows are shut down. So it's just going to be BS and a little knife talk, uh, doing some catching up on a few things. So if uh, that doesn't interest you, uh, please uh, turn this off. Uh, go do something um, more fun. And have a nice day and thank you and goodbye. Okay, if you're sticking around, I just want to BS a little bit. Um, just a couple of knives, maybe you find it interesting. This uh, filthy looking knife here, if I remember right, uh, a couple years ago I was walking around a junkyard and I saw this laying in the mud. And uh, I don't know why I picked it up, except it being a knife, I, I picked it up. It looks like it's been sharpened a little bit. Anyway, it was so filthy, but. I thought it was one of these. Well, these are a really fun knife. I mean, these things are great. Uh, when you hand somebody this type of knife, and this says, uh, this is Jaguar on it. Uh, this, uh, this doesn't really say anything except stainless. People think they're going to, they're going to experience one of these, which is, just uh, a simple uh, liner lock, but it's got the uh, uh, embedded rubber handle and aluminum uh, aluminum handle, uh, stainless. So you give them this, and what they do, and it's a lockback. So what you do is you close it up, and they say, "Okay, look at this. This is a, a regular lockback, you know." Nothing much going on. And they look at it, you go, yeah, and then you go, you know, make up some story or something like that, and it flies open. Of course, you know it's a dual action. It's uh, manual, but also automatic. And the trick is that this is concealed in this uh, inlaid rubber. And the, the button is here. Now this is in the book, by the way, for those of you who read, but that's okay. We'll, we'll talk about this one someday. Uh, but you just push this here. And these are the coolest thing. I just, I just love, I have so much fun with these. Uh, they're great. So... When I saw it, I thought this was this was one of those. And I thought, well, look, I got to talk about this because it's all junked up, and uh, we'll find out why it doesn't work. When the thing was that this is indented here, and I kind of assumed that uh, that was what was going on, and this is all falling apart. Uh, uh, this should be on exhibition for one of the dirtiest knives you ever find, but. I drug it. I, I saw it, and I was going to say, "Gee, I can make a video about maybe why this uh, is not working." But then I saw it was a liner lock. I said, "I can't remember these things being a liner lock. I thought they were locked back." So what this is, it looks like this is one of those mechanisms where this pushes in uh, a piece of the liner on the uh, left side, and it'll it'll unlock the knife. Which is not a terrible uh, mechanism. It's a little more involved. It's you know, it's not like as easy one hand one open as a, a liner lock is. But let me try to clean this off a little. So uh, maybe we'll kind of take a look at it, find out why it's screwed up. I, I think I don't think it's going to be anything exciting. I, I, I can basically see why it's screwed up. It's uh, probably been run over by a truck in the uh, in the junkyard. Hey, but freeze free, right? 
Okay, this is a liner lock and it's got the uh, modular type of uh, lock bar. And uh, that seems to be okay. It's a reservoir for a lot of dirt. Uh, but here's the interesting part. This is uh, the uh, release mechanism. This, when you push this in, it pushes on this and unlocks the knife. And it moves the uh, lock face of the lock bar off the uh, lock face of the blade. And um, And this, this is just a piece of rubber, I guess. Uh, okay, it, it is glued to this uh, metal plate. And uh, there's a stop pin. So, uh, it's an interesting uh, little mechanism. Now I found out that the only way to close a knife is with this uh, with with this um, mechanism here, because what will happen? There's there's no notch here, you can't get your finger on it, and that's why they made that other leaf so big, so this could fit on there. So it's kind of like a hidden, it's camouflage, so the knife. The knife is locked up now. The only way to unlock it is push that in. But then it, it's supposed to spring out of the way and it doesn't. Now that that is obstructing the blade from closing. And close the blade, I've got to push something in there. Get that out of the way. Now the, now the blade will close. locked up. I don't know if we've got the washers back in right. There's another reason why you shouldn't take knives apart. So it's locked. Push it in. It unlocks it. You can see, maybe you can see that. So unlock it, but then it doesn't move. It doesn't spring out of the way. You can see that. Pumping along there. So, uh, a neat mechanism, but not very well uh, engineered. That's that. Uh, some people ask me uh, sometimes, they, they say, uh, I've got a problem with my um, uh, DAOTF and uh, it does this or does that and I said look you know I, I kind of talked about that but um, maybe I didn't get specific enough sometimes um, this one I think this one was working but now it's stuck one of them was working and but now this is stuck uh, open won't uh, won't lock in the open position uh, this one stuck in the open position. This one's stuck in the open position. This one <laughs> is stuck in the open position. I didn't know that was so much of a problem. My God. I think this is the one we worked on before. Uh, this won't lock up. So let me... Uh, let me uh, get after this because this, this is kind of good because uh, somebody was asking me about his knife and uh, said a wooden lock in the open position. Uh, so that would be this one. We'll start with this and maybe we'll get the other one. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I'm going to pause the camera while I take these six screws out. Oh, one's missing. Okay, just a little word about these Chinese screws. I think these factories make their own screws. So these screws may vary from factory to factory. It may not 
work really good if you get some screws like metric made in the US because the the head and the threads and all might not be quite up so anyway what we see is this is kind of off a little bit it, it, this might be let's see that uh, looks pretty flat. Sometimes these things are bent. They're just cast. Uh, what we see here is the spring is intact. The uh, blade hooks are were, are okay. Ah, but look at this. This, uh, what is that? Oh, there's the problem right there. Okay. What you see here is this uh, spring spring catch and it's just laying flat it's dead as opposed to this one this one this one works it's got a little spring behind it it's, it's a rather crude system but somehow it works I guess it's because they have this pie shaped channel and this piece of this flat piece of metal here doesn't have anywhere to go and it's not hinged to anything. It's just loose in there, but it works like a hinge. And this is the um, uh, the slide mechanism, and that is going to ramp and move that. And that's how that will lock on to the end of the blade. Now the same idea is up here. There's a ramp here. You look at it and this is one kind of one of the weak points of the knife is you have this uh, button post right in, right near the ramp. So you've only got this little thin area of ramp. But that's not the problem. The problem is that this is not working. This should be here. And what you see here is a little tiny hunk of spring that is screwed up. So it's an easy fix if you've got, if you've got some uh, very fine uh, spring wire and wind your own spring, or you could find a spring like this somewhere. It's very, very small spring. And it's, as you see, the tip of this is magnetic enough. It holds onto it. But... That's screwed up. So maybe we'll play with that in a minute if I get another spring. All right. So that's that one. Let me keep the screws. Cause like I say, these screws might not all match up. All these shiny guys, they good chance they will. And the spring. Okay. And the button. Okay. Alright, this is all locked. So I'm going to get into this. See why this is all locked up here. Won't move. Okay. Okay. When, when I unscrewed this, some of the tension came off. I heard a click. I don't know if you heard it. Ooh. That's... Okay, I bet, I bet the blade hook came off the blade. The end of the spring has a hook on it. Things look a little bit tarnished in here. But... Okay, and you could see this hook was not on top of this button. The, the blade is forward of that hook. So that little extra snap there. Now this is working properly. Now here's one working properly, see? Uh, 
That right there. We got a spring right here. And I'm going to hold this down and push this blade back. Okay. And what you can see is when the blade flies, it comes up and that like flat valve lock, spring lock, will come behind the blade. And the blade doesn't fly out because it's got this button. It's got this button on uh, protruding on both sides and it's hitting right here. It's hitting against that and it's got a ledge here it'll hit against that so the blade cannot fly out as long as that button is in there okay now as to why it wasn't working I don't know again I think from last time I had a suspicion that this hook was not big enough maybe you remember you can see how how big the hook is but that fits around the back of the knife this is going to be smaller because this is only going to go between the blade and this button. So it's a much smaller distance. And it doesn't look that bad, so I don't know. But you can see, if I push that up, so it has to be constrained by the top. Otherwise, it, it, it won't be down and it won't catch. So we're going to try this one more time. Let me unlock the blade, move it into travel position. So it's halfway. It was what we call the travel position sometimes. And okay, this is a slide carriage. That's the brains of the outfit. There's the button, provides the muscle. I'll put this on here. Alright, that looks like a position. So to get it I mean it's it's hidden on something, man. It's not it's not it's like this thing is jiggly loose, but yet it kind of catches on something at the same time. Right there. Take a look at that. Anyway, so that's locked. I'm gonna hold this tight so it doesn't fly apart and kill me. What? That looked like that caught. I felt like it caught. All right, let's see if it catches. Huh, right there. I don't know. Uh, It, I'm thinking maybe some oil is all this thing needs, but there's some resistance in there. I don't know. Right there, it catches right there too. These. Um, You probably need to get some fine sandpaper, like uh, 400 grit, maybe 600 grit. Uh, get the burrs off, and then put some oil on, because that it's rubbing right there. But why it's acting so badly? I'm not exactly sure. Let me see if I can do this without the. Uh, Okay, we're in there. Okay. We're going to forego the button here. That, that don't feel right. That don't feel right. Yeah. Yeah, it's not... That wasn't on top of the... Uh, the button. 
the uh, tang button there. So, one more time. Okay. Okay, that, that flew by there real easy. Let me see here. Okay, okay. Push that down. I gotta push that down. Might have to try and make that longer. Maybe make a longer one. Put the button on. Okay, everything all locked up here. Okay, we're going to we're going to lock the blade in the closed position. Make sure you don't get stabbed in the finger. What about this way, huh? Okay, locked in a closed position. I'm going to hold on tight. And nice and smooth. Oh! Didn't lock. Alright, I'm going to hold on to tight. Hmm, right there. Whoa! Up you see you see how these things are dangerous? <laughs> Alright. I gotta retrieve that. So now just to prove what I'm talking about. Okay. There is the little spring. It's kind of a pyramid shape. This is the spring lock here. Now a lot of these, now you can see between the knives, there's a, there's a different shape. This is the front sort of flat valve spring lock from the second knife. This is the first knife missing a spring. It, they, they generally uh, put a rounded area to hold the spring in. Okay, but that's all. There's no, it, it, it works like a hinge, but there's no pivot pin or anything. They're just loose in there. Anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this back in here. Let's see, which way does this go here? You want this uh, that way, right? I'm going to go in. Let me... Okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to put this spring in. So this button is very important. Okay. Slide button. And I sort of fixed it. Uh, so that ought to be enough fun for one day. So um, I 
so you take the tension off for safety. So now it is a workable knife because we can assume that the only thing wrong was the uh, it needed a little tiny spring. And it's interesting that uh, this huge knife would uh, be dependent on that tiny little spring. So uh, that's why I think these, if I remember right, these have a leaf spring in there, which is much more reliable than this little tiny coiled uh, torsion, uh, not torsion spring, compression spring. So uh, these look like they're kind of junky and all, but and they're, they're kind of light and they're kind of flimsy, but they might be a little more reliable. Although these are, this is Chinese stuff that breaks too. So I hope you guys learned something uh, a little bit uh, more about these um, knockoff uh, DAOTFs and. Uh, Thanks for watching.